always exciting to see two teams with bright futures greg young stars hungry to prove themselves and kevin the hungrier the better if you ask me when you've got all that youthful energy and ambition out on the court very special things can happen i'm checking out utah's opening lineup Holly Markin and is out there with John Collins. Then it's George. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's Fontecchio in at the three slot. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard numbers. He's off on the first. Well, the Spurs, Smitty, managed to end their 2023 season on a win, but last in the West, but with hope for the future. You're right, Kevin. Tied for worst record in their conference, but everyone knew that team was rebuilding, and bingo, they got the number one pick, Victor Wimbenyama. Good on the second free throw. You know when John Collins is being utilized correctly, he's a problem. A talented offensive player and solid defender. Now, here's Vassell. Down low, here's Wimbenyama. That one's in his first shot this game. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Collins in the post. He's guarded by Collins. Here's Sohan. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Johnson outside. From past the arc. The rebound by the Jams. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity. But it's very rare. San Antonio with the ball, following the bucket by the Jams. Got a piece of it. George against Johnson. Passes to Fonjecchio. Markinen kicks to George. Collins with it. He's picked up by Collins. To the middle. Here's Johnson. And the shot is good. By no means selfish. Jeremy will readily move the ball to a more open guy. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Outside Collins. Pass to Clarkson. Lock at six. George with a screen on Vassell. Shots good by Clarkson. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Collins finds Wembenyama. Tries from 10. That one falls. Wembenyama has got his second basket of the game. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations. But he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. And that one good from Clarkson. If you don't watch out, Clarkson will fill it up. He can be a prolific scorer from long range. So am the pass to Vassell. Pass to Wembenyama. A three-pointer off the mark. Utah leading. Onjekio passes to Markinen. A shot by Clarkson. No good. I'll tell you what. I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Collins, a screen on George. So am the pass to Collins. Wembenyama outside. Drills the three-pointer. Wembenyama has got seven. And when Wembenyama is connecting from deep, he is downright unguardable. This, this is how special a talent he is. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams.
Both teams will make substitutions. With this break in the action, here are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. These are the top passing teams in the league. In the third spot, the Spurs. And, and you know, when your team has a lot of assists, it's testimony to the unselfishness, the, the patience, the ball movement, the player movement. They have shown all of that. One ten left in the first quarter of the game. Now, here's Sexton. D right on him. And he uses the glass on the layup. Colin Sexton understands when he should try to score inside. Loved his awareness. Colin setting the pick for Jones. Vassell wide open. All three off the mark. Jazz have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. The pass to Sexton. Left side Collins. Shot from the top of the key. And again it's Utah. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. McDermott with the screen for Vassell. And the Spurs scoring again. Smooth jumper from Devin. Get used to seeing that. Horton Tucker in the corner. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball. And he did that. There's 10 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now, here's Markinen. Here's Horton Tucker. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Jazz lead by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. What do you guys think about the Jazz here in this one? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. This is where you credit the guys in the front office for going out and getting you the pieces you need. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. Taking a look at the Jazz, they've got Lowry Markinen, Taylor Horton Tucker out there with Colin Sexton. Then there's Walker Kessler. And it's Abaji in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Markinen. He has yet to score. Taylor Horton Tucker doing a nice job of finding his teammates. They are loving it. Wembenyama finds Jones. Back to Wembenyama. Jones with the screen on Markinen. Here's Wembenyama. Offline from the high post. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. When Benyama against Markinen, count it. Markinen's got five points in the quarter. You have to be impressed with the way this kid shoots the ball. Markinen built for that mid-range game. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It, it took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. And here is Markinen, following the three-pointer by Doug McDermott. 
They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. Boy, what an advantage that is when your seven-footer can initiate, then hit the roller in stride. The Jazz shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Looking at who's out there now for the Jams. Montecchio's checked in, and it's Clarkson in for Sexton. And that one misses. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Rembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. And few defenders to ever play in this league have the ability to slow Wimbenyama inside. George passes to Fonjecchio. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Johnson. And then Johnson with the jam. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. George passes to Kessler. Fontecchio back to Kessler. Fontecchio covered by Johnson. The Spurs have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. A generational talent for Wimbenyama. The sky is the limit and the reality. The Spurs shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And the Spurs making a change here. Vassell's checked in. And Utah also making a switch. John Collins, he's checked in for Markinen. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Passes it to Clarkson. Puts up a deep three. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Clarkson's got his third basket of the night right there. And so Wem Benyama will bring it up for the Spurs. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. The Utah Jazz have found themselves a new all-star in Laurie Markkinen. Coach Will Hardy says he's our best player, but we're not making our team about him. We have a lot of really good players. Everyone is finding a way to coexist, and that's the great thing about our team. Kevin? Yeah, a quick rebuild. And David Aldridge, thank you for that report. Here's Sohan, defended by George. Ren Benyama, right side. And it's in, basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. There's a minute left to play here in the second quarter. Clarkson passes to Kessler. The Jazz working the ball around now. Left side Collins. The three from George sinks the triple. And the Jazz lead by three. And developing that three ball shot, George is putting in the work now. Pass to Vassell. Rembenyama down low. He's covered by Kessler. For San Antonio, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. First free throw is good. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Trey Jones is checked in for the Spurs. 
And Utah also making a switch. Markinen, he's checked in for Walker Kessler. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. 30 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Collins. Clarkson outside. Collins a screen on Vassell. Clarkson, Wembenyama with the rebound. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. This is to Jones over George. And it's Jones that time on the assist by Wembenyama. Jones has got the lead up to one now for the Spurs. And so it's Victor Wembenyama making things happen for the Spurs. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we have ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. Yeah, you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. They're staring at a rough road ahead, the kind that can break you down. But this is what separates good from great, the way you take on obstacles in your path. Mm. To be formidable, to ultimately win a chip, you have to be good away from home. As we shift our focus now to the Spurs, it's a tight one after two quarters of play. You could tell they love playing in front of this crowd. The energy helps fuel this team right now. The sixth man is doing their job, Shaq. Yeah, there's no let up in these fans, loyal and loud. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. We're seeing a tremendous game from Victor Rembenyama. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup, and they took the necessary time to exploit it. The cell in the wing along with Johnson. Rembenyama is out there with Collins, and it's Sohan in at the one spot. That's the San Antonio Five. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. Jazz trail by three. Now George. Clarkson on the wing. And George kicks to Clarkson. Just five to shoot. Let's the three fly. Rebound San Antonio. Vassell, the pass to Sohan. Now, here's Johnson. Here's Wembenyama. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. 22 points for Victor Wembenyama. Showing he's more than just an interior threat. Wembenyama also possesses that reliable jump shot. Markinen sets the pick for George. Clarkson surveying the floor. There's a screen. Shoots over Vassell. 
That one's good. The San Antonio lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Clarkson. Clarkson makes a lot of shots with the defenders draped all over him. And Benyama outside. The pass to Sohan. And here is Johnson. Markinen pulls it in. Clarkson finds George. Markinen sets the pick for George. Pass to Fonjecchio. Back to Collins. There's a screen by Collins. And here's George for three. Rem Benyama with the rebound. Spurs leading by three. Here's Sohan. Still yet to score. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Clarkson against Vassell. Lobbed up there for Collins. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And now just a one-point San Antonio lead. No matter where he is on the floor, Collins seems to invite contact. Collins a screen on Markinen. Rembenyama no good. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. George passes to Clarkson. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Spurs have gone one of three since starting the second half. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you very much, Kevin. His rookie year, Spurs coaches suggested that Jeremy Sohan shoot his free throws one-handed. He said, I thought they were joking. But the new form got his elbow under the ball and his percentages rose. Coach Popovich said a lot of guys wouldn't even want to try it, but he doesn't worry about what people think. He just wants to get better. Kevin? I can see it. All right, David, thanks. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Vassell. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got five assists tonight. A very capable three-point marksman. The corner is no problem for Devin. And you look at how Kelton Johnson has evolved. He is now a prime-time scorer. One big difference these days, he gets himself to the free-throw line. He's not just settling, he's attacking. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. And taking a look now at the stats for Johnson. He's been dominant over the last month. He's around 18 points per game, seven rebounds, and four assists. And he is such a huge part of what this team does on offense. Yes, night in and night out, he's their go-to option. He accepts that responsibility and thrives at it. Sexton the pass to George. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. George has got his second basket of the night. Quality pass by Sexton taking full advantage of that opening. 
Here's Sohan, defended by George. Johnson kicks to Vassell. Six on the shot clock, launches it. Utah with the rebound. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Now, here is George. Tight defense on him. Back to Clarkson. Fires away from outside. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. There's no bigger play in a close game than a putback slam. Oh, and that one's got them all hyped up. Wow. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight, and they also didn't give up on that possession. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Johnson inside, working on Collins. Here's Vassell, bangs home the trifecta. Vassell's got a pair of threes now here in the third for San Antonio. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Spurs up by five. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So on the floor for Utah. They've got Colin Sexton. Walker Kessler is out there with Larry Markinen. Then there's Taylor Horton Tucker. And it's Abaji in at the small forward. And for a guard, Taylor Horton Tucker has elite strength and length. GA, he weighs around 230, has a 7-1 wingspan, and he's athletic. And it really shows up on the defensive end, guarding multiple positions. And the first one drops. Gordon Tucker is a score. Someone that tries to give his team a jolt of energy. Both free throws good from Horton Tucker. Spurs leading by three. Jones, the pass to Branham. Here's McDermott. Jacks up a three. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got four rebounds in this game. Horton Tucker with it. Now Kessler. Clock at six. Here's Markinen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. This shows Markinen's understanding of the game. You play me to shoot from the outside, well, I'm going inside. Jones kicks to McDermott. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Rembenyama passes to McDermott. That's good, and it's Rembenyama with the assist. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Pass to Markinen. Picked by Markinen. The tray. Rebounded by the Spurs. And Benyama's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Teardrop shot. Good on the bucket. Now it's a six-point Spurs lead. Doug McDermott is not just an outside shooter. He has a nice touch inside as well. And the Jazz call time here.
And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. Able to listen in on Will Hardy's huddle with his team. And he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it, guys. Thank you, David. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. And here's George. Collins dishes to George. Pass to Clarkson. The shot. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Sohan, defended by George. Johnson, the pass to Wembenyama. Spurs passing it around. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Jazz trail by six. Dish now to Clarkson. Kicks it to George. There's the pass to Markinen. Fontecchio. Passes it to George. Six to shoot. Clarkson outside. No good on the triple. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. Pass to Sohan. Back to Vassell. Buries the long-range jumper. Vassell's got the lead up to nine now for San Antonio. A lot of Vassell's buckets come off assists. He's very comfortable on catch-and-shoot situations. Vassell against Clarkson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And GA start next season. Some big repeat penalties for teams well over the cap. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four year span, their first round draft pick falls to the end of the first round. That'll sting. Good on the first, and that brings them within eight. A veteran in this league, Jordan Clarkson, is known as a fantastic scorer. Someone who can fill it up from all three levels. And both free throws good for Clarkson. San Antonio leading by seven. Here's Wembenyama. And good that time. Wembenyama's got 24. And a monster game for Wemby with the matchup issues he creates. I'm not sure anyone in this league can stop him when he's on. A shot by Clarkson, no good. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. Johnson outside. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Clarkson against Johnson. Outside, George. Inside. And finish off by Collins. A wise pass right there by the rookie George. Solid at finding open teammates. Here's Sohan, defended by George. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Time Boy, out, if you're out. the coach, you hate to see that kind of Sorry. miscommunication between your guys. Utah calls timeout. They trail by seven. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Utah with the ball. He's clobbered, and he'll get three shots at the line. You know, I'll tell you, Markin is not a guy you want to send to the line. Excellent foul shooter. the first of three and that turns the lead to six with his size athleticism and skill set marketing can play at the three four or five he creates matchup problems for the defense he makes the second free throw and that brings them within five good in all three free throws and that shrinks the margin to just four crucial that he converts those shots they've got to keep eating away at the lead and Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul that is his first foul of the game I mean that's a tough break for the D I mean he took the hit and drew the whistle 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter Marking in against Wembenyama. And Collins gets double teamed. Clock at four. And now we've got the intentional foul. First one drops, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Hitting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Productive trip to the line. Extended their timeout, lead. Timeout. Utah calls timeout. They're Start. down by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The three from George. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Sharing the wealth, Jordan Clarkson with a nice pass. And they go to the intentional foul. Two. 
He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. A top 10 pick in the 2022 draft. Jeremy Sohan is a hustler, plays extremely hard, is a coach's dream. You know, I don't believe in the word choke, but to come away empty right there is brutal. This game would have been over. Clarkson with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. A consistent free throw shooter. Devin Purcell just can't let the pressure get to him. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And those free throws make things a little more simpler right now. They just have to guard against the three-pointers. Connects from downtown. Not only can you count on Markin to give you points, he can do it when it matters most. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. It's tied at 55. Five seconds left to play here in the fourth. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Wimbenyama. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. Here's Sohan. Collins is out there with Markinen. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then it's George. And it's Fontecchio in at the three spot. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. George passes to Collins. Clarkson with the ball. Back to Collins. And finish off by Collins. 
And we've talked about Collins becoming a go-to score. Important points right there. Right side, Collins. Ball's not loose. And it's out of bounds. The score is able to retain possession here. Vassell against Clarkson. Five on the clock. Vassell, no good. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Utah. A two-point game. Vassell against Clarkson. The feed to Collins. Takes it inside. Nice pass. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. And you see the soft hands for the catch. Then Collins with the smooth finish. Collins setting the pick for Wembenyama. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. How about the rookie with the big shot? Wembenyama showing us he can meet those high expectations. Now, here's Clarkson. It's good. Huge bucket from Clarkson. Coming through when his team needed him. No good on the free throw. Absolutely the player they want on the line right now. Jordan Clarkson, a great free throw shooter. Utah leading by four. Or the three. The rebound by Victor Rembenyama. Rembenyama has got rebound number eight now on the night. Johnson with a screen on George. Pass to Vassell. Offensive rebound, Collins. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Yeah, beautiful play on the interior. They're just using the height advantage to lay the ball up and in when they really needed that basket. Money! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Devin Vassell coming up. Clutch. Utah calls timeout. 52 seconds left in the first overtime. So it's the Jazz now. Now, here's Clarkson. From 13. 
Here's Collins. Another shot. The rebound by Johnson. And there's the pass to Wembenyama. Back to Johnson. Here's Sohan. Shot clock at six. To take the lead. Oh, missed it. And so the timeout by Will Hardy here. Clarkson against Vassell. Clarkson kicks to George. Beyond the arc. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. And so we are tied again at the end of overtime. Now we're headed to overtime number two. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. And as we play on into another overtime, you know these teams must be wearing down. It's become a battle of attrition. Here we go. Here's Sohan, defended by George. Johnson surveying the floor. Feeds it to Collins. Six to shoot. Collins setting the pick for Vassell. Shoots over Clarkson, and right through it goes. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Now Clarkson, Collins a screen on Vassell. And then Collins slams it in. Dunk contest level jam. Collins looks like he's having fun out there. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And so Wembenyama will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. With the drive, shooting foul as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's on Lowry Markkinen. Some defenders aren't sure what to do when Wimbanyama comes down the lane. And he 
and he makes the first. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Bobbed up there for Collins. Throws down the alley-oop slam. The agility, the hops, the great hands. Collins is the perfect alley-oop partner. Here's Sohan, defended by George. Passes to Vassell. And the three ball is good. Vassell's got seven points for the quarter. Devin rises to the challenge of the big moment and scores it. Utah calls timeout. They're behind by three. There's a minute 40 left in the second overtime period, and here we are. Walker Kessler, he's jacked in for Jordan Clarkson. Jazz trail by three. Arkin in with it. To the paint. Kessler passes to Collins. Right side, George. Kessler with the bucket. And more than capable of making miraculous passes, George certainly a traditional guard in that fashion. Johnson with a screen on George. Pass to Bissell. A three. Not going to go that time. Utah has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Marking in against Collins. Marking in passes to Kessler to take the lead. No good there. Good defense by Wembenyama. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. To the left wing. It's up a three. Hits the three to fall. Oh, how about the vision by Wimbanyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Time out, time out. Utah calls timeout. They're Pardon? trailing by four. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the second overtime period. Could not get a winner with just one.
Marking it into the lane. It's George on the wing. Count it. And he has brought them to within two points. Feeling it tonight. Marketing has that scores gene. Once he gets on a roll, it looks effortless. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. Utah with the ball. And, and no secret here, guys. They've got to get a three if we're going to get yet another overtime. Got it! Here's Vassell. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. Devin Fussell's length and versatility stands out. He's a promising wing with a high ceiling. And he is unable to get the second one. And here is Markkinen. Got it up in time. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so it's San Antonio who's straight by with the win. A double overtime game can really take its toll on the players. And after this one, the officials, the fans, everyone's going to have to take a, uh, a needed rest. Uh, no doubt. I mean, when you have to dig that deep and play with that much determination to get a win, it was earned. And I tell you what, they've got to feel really good about themselves for fighting through. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Zach, a very ugly stretch of games and a big win tonight. How important is it to get back on track? This one game, uh, we got to continue to play like this. We can't, you know, have any more slip-ups. And uh, obviously we went through a rough patch, but hopefully this is the, the start of uh, getting out of it. You can only play one game at a time, man, and you got the win tonight. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Victor Wembenyama.